Inside Tower, Expedition Alpha, time now 2053 Zulu. Wind 130 at 6, visibility is 10, ceiling 2100 overcast. Temperature 12, dew point zero seven. Altimeter 3002. ILS approaches in use, landing and departing, runway 1 left and runway 1 right. All departing aircraft contact ground control for clearance of taxi instructions. Arrivals contact TELS approach 124.0. Nest Airman Unlet Tower. Riverside Ground, Cardinal 7637 Victor. Is there clearance delivery up today? Yeah, Con Ground, standby at emergency in progress. Ground 37 Victor, do we need to shut down? 37 Victor, negative. Um, just, uh, just hang on here a second. Let me, I gotta get somebody off the of position in just a moment. You're alright, let me know. 37 Victor. Cardinal 37 Victor, runway 1 left, taxi and hold short of Alpha. One left to hold short of Alpha. We're going to be IFR. We'll pick up our clearance and hold short, I guess, 37 Victor. Cardinal 37 Victor, Roger. Are you ready to copy now? Do you have uh, well, information Alpha is current now? Uh, verify when you have that. We do have Alpha, and I'm ready to copy this time, 37 Victor, just outside of ATP. Cardinal 37 Victor, Roger. Cleared to the Pogue Airport is filed. Maintain 2,500. Expect 3,010 minutes after departure. Pulse of departure frequency is 124.0, squawk 4742. Okay, we're clear to the Pogue Airport as filed, 2,500, expect 3 and 10, 24 nothing to departure, and 47, 42 on the squawk. 3 7, Victor. Cardinal 3 7, Victor, read back correct. Okay, we'll taxi and hold short of Alpha to 1 left. 3 7, Victor. That's always a great sign. There's an emergency. Let's go do our first IFR and IMC. Cardinal 37 Victor, follow a Cessna southbound on Alpha, runway 1 left, taxi via Alpha. Okay, we'll follow this Cessna in front of us, uh, southbound on Alpha, 37 Victor. Run through our checklist here. <coughs> Run up, our brakes are set, our fuel is on both. Our trim is set. Trim is set for takeoff and centered. Flight instruments, uh, we have good suction, we have nothing on the airspeed. Level within 75 feet, no flag, no flag. Zero, uh, we'll check upon taxi and we'll set now. TC's level, ball centered. All our engine instruments are looking good. Instrument check is complete, mixture's in for best power. Mag check, okay the right mag comes out looking pretty good. We'll do the left mag, comes out looking pretty good. Both are running really smooth. Okay, so right mag mags are checked. We'll do the prop cycle, here's the prop deflation. One time pretty hard there, so loss in RPM the first time. The second time we're going to look for an increase of manifold pressure. There it is, increase the manifold pressure. And the one that we can never see with the Cessna gauges is the oil pressure, so we'll look, we'll pull it, we'll look for deflation, push it back in, and look for it to re-increase. Yep, oil pressure looks great. Props have been cycled, vacuum looks fantastic above 5, amps and volts charging, yep, charging. Fuel flow looks good. Was changing with my throttle, so I know it's working correctly. Oil pressure looks great. Temperatures are finally online. Idle check. So we'll do our friction here. Friction set. Bring it all the way back. All the way back. And it idles about 700. This idles real smooth at 700, so that's good. Idle check's great. Pre-takeoff checklist comes in and flaps the tin. We have to go over to the box here. We need to put in 47, 42, 47. Oh, wow. 47 already in. 4, 2. Real close. We'll go to ALT at this time. So we'll break all the breakers are in because we're already over there. Might as well check them. So pre takeoff. Uh, we're going to have to go pedo heat on because we are going into IMC. Pedo heat. Uh, compass is all set, doors, ALT, landing light will come on, strobes is required, times break, ready to go. Checklist is complete, now let's go over to Pogue here, let's put in 36, 362, that's all we're going to need to go direct Pogue, 362, how awesome is that? I've already identified it, right there. Okay, Pogue has been identified, flick the ADF off. Uh, 1520 and one mile visibility, which we make those no problem. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going into IMC for the first time uh, by myself, so that'll be a lot of fun. Gonna go shoot an NDB35 approach at Pogue, get some gas up there, and we'll do an IFR back here for the ILS.
So I'm going to go ahead and contact tower, switching, and I'm going to put this into a departure, just 24 nothing. Riverside Tower, Cardinal 7637 Victors, Alpha 1, ready to go, 1 left to Pogue IFR. November 7637 Victor, Riverside Tower, leaving 1500, turn left, heading 310, maintain 3000. Runway 1 left, cleared for takeoff. Climb maintain 3000, leaving 1500, we'll make a left turn to 310, clear for takeoff, 1 left, 37 Victor. Clear and clear. All our lights are on as required. Strobes are coming on, taking the active runway. Clear, clear one more time. Both are into full, cows are open, fuel's on, gears down, stalled. We are charging. Mags are on both. Lights down, lights up. Great. And the horn. 10 degrees, let's get going. Lining myself up with the runway. DG looks great. Power's up and in. The power's up and in. Okay, there's 50. Everything looks good. Let's continue down the runway. 55 coming up 60. Getting light going up. VR. There's 70, increasing 72, holding 72, positive rate gear up, no remaining. We'll go 500 feet. All right, gears up. Light, landing light off. Close air vents, freaking cold today. There's our 500 AGL, throttling back. Very smooth today, I like this a lot. This would be a great day. Climbing through 1,500 left to 310. So we're 1,300. We got about eight to 900. Victor contact, Tulsa departure. Tulsa departure, see ya, 37 Victor. There's 1,500, turning. Tulsa departure, Cardinal 7637 Victor, out of 1,500 for 3,000, turning left to 310. Cardinal 7637 Victor, Tulsa departure, radar, contact, set request. Request, we're gonna go uh, full stop, shoot the NDB 35 at Pogue, 37 Victor. Cardinal 37 Victor, Roger, climb maintain 3,500. Proceed direct William Pogue, NDB, upon reaching the NDB, cleared NDB runway 35 approach to William Pogue, report turning the inbound on the approach. Okay, we will report inbound on the approach, we're climbing up to 3,000, upon reaching the NDB, we're clear for the NDB 35, Pogue, 37 Victor. Coming through 2,000 now. All right, we're cleared up to 3,000 and direct to Pogue NDB. So we have it set. We used to do poor man's RMI is all it is, so we're going to transfer the needle on over. And now we're 7637, Victor, just for planning purposes, uh, you might want to plan to uh, cancel in the air on my frequency. Otherwise, you have to uh, call uh, via phone. Looks like the remote frequencies for flight service in this area are out of service at the moment. Okay, that'll be no problem. I'll cancel with you on the inbound. 1520 should put me about 500 below the clouds. 37, Victor. Roger. Yeah, my last uh, base report was uh, between 25 to 2600. Well, I'm entering it right now at 2500 feet. 37, Victor. Roger. Climbing to three. Climbing to three. This is uh, that's a that's a kind of a spooky feeling right there. That few seconds you disappear up into the clouds there. I mean, it's a good few seconds, but it's a an interesting few seconds here. There's three thousand feet throttling back to twenty manifold pressure, leaving the prop at twenty five hundred RPM. Make sure you keep a scan going. Transfer back to the ADF. Keep looking at the ADF. We're looking good so far on the ADF. 